Hello, um, this is a, a super quick uh, video that I'm going to um, add just as a, as a little extra. It, my neighbour is fitting flooring. <laughs> I'm sorry about the noise. It's been going on all day. Um, I wanted to update you because I was delighted to receive a letter with a very special symbol on it. Can you see that? That's from the House of Lords. I'm not going to show you because I don't want to share my address with you. But I can assure you that I have received a reasonably long letter from Lord Blencathra. I'm delighted to be corresponding with Lord Blencathra because I have written to him. Um, I wrote to thank him for his amendment 97s a day. And then I did a round of um, thank you notes uh, subsequent to that when um, the vexatious complaints were made against the peers to the uh, parliamentary commissioner. And I was um, upset that they weren't dismissed out of hand on the basis of parliamentary privilege. So, I've, you know, I have I have written several um, thank you notes to members of the House of Lords recently <laughs> because it felt very hypocritical if I was going to ask you to do it and I hadn't done it myself. So um, I am keeping up with writing a couple of notes a day in my personal life and um, in terms of my activism. So I'm still behind. I've still got so many notes to write, but it, it, it is working. This idea of I'm trying to do more snail mail communication because I do actually think there's something very nice and special about getting a physical artifact in the post, particularly if it's one that someone has handwritten or one that someone has made. And so I'm really I'm really trying to keep up with that because I think it I think it's a positive contribution to the discourse. Anyway, back to the letter. I am surprised, nay astonished, to read that Lord Blencathra has found my YouTube channel and has watched the proverbial out of my Keep Prison Single Sex playlist. I'm, I'm so happy about that. Um, it really wasn't uh, like a fangirl thing to start it going. I mean, I, 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 I seriously think that this issue of el elude, eliding the reality of biological sex in favour of gender identity is really harmful for women, never more so than in a prison where you're locked in with somebody. Um, so it's something that I feel very passionately about, but it was, it was really a delight to receive a letter which explains, you know, the the a little bit more about the business of the House of Lords and how some of the stuff that was going on behind the scenes. Um, he outlines his understanding of this issue, which I have to say is very good. Um, I think he he really gets um, the arguments that women are making about this, um, and he he really understands the the risks to those women. Um, he briefly writes about the um, the bogus complaints um, and he agrees with, with what I said, you know, that they should have been dismissed, um, but that he fully intends to continue to use his parliamentary privilege to speak up for women, which, as he says, you know, as an el he says as an elderly. Where is it? it oh. it's in, it's in the bit I'm going to read to you in a minute um he also mentions how nice it was to see uh, Baroness Jones uh speak in support of the rights of women to speak up even though her party position is such that she can't fully support the amendment now Lord Blencathra has actually added asked me to add a comment for him because he doesn't want to have a, a Google account, so he doesn't want to sign in to um, add a comment to the um, the video. So I'm going to read this comment out to you now, and I'm going to type it out, 
and put it in the comment section of that original video. I hope that's okay. So Lord Blencathra says, I am so grateful to all those women who have supported me in seeking safe space for biological sex women. As an elderly Tory Lord, I never expected that I would be in this position of defending women's rights. But in my 40 years in Parliament, I have never seen them under such an attack as now. The word woman is in danger of being erased and we all have to defend it. Thank you all, David Blencathra. There you go. He adds at the end of his letter that it really, really helps to get words of encouragement because obviously he is the target of some, some nastiness. Um, probably, I would say, he is protected from the worst of it. I would imagine that Baroness Nicholson of Winterbourne is a harassed even more. Isn't that lovely? A lovely gesture to write back and say to somebody that, yep, I am listening. I do understand that this issue is important and I'm not going to stop speaking up for women that care about this. So I just want to add again, thank you to Lord David Blencathra. Are we on first name terms now? Can I call him Dave? <laughs> I think not, but it's 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 an absolute pleasure to receive a letter that is encouraging me in my activism while I'm encouraging him in his. That's how we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this by standing together and standing up for what we know is right. Thanks very much. I'll see you soon.